Hallo, mein Name ist Christian Riedemann. Herzlich willkommen zur ADAC Rally Deutschland, meine Heimrallye. Ich freue mich sehr, dass es morgen endlich losgeht. Christian Riedemann welcomes you to the fourth round of the Citroen Top Driver. The only German driver of the Citroen Racing Feeder Series is undoubtedly the best to introduce the special features of this first tarmac event of the season. We have three different kinds of, of stages, um, but um, I love the rally. Baumholder and the Rhine Regards and the Saarland stages are uh, very, very nice stages. All kinds are special. You really have to know where the, the hard, the special corners are, so you have to stay on the road, of course. After Rally Finland, Keith Cronin is topping the standings. But the Irish driver is anything but confident before the start, as he discovers each round of the WRC. Um, I think we'll approach it the same way we approached the gravel events. Um, it's our first Harmag event. Bit unknown, bit unknown for everyone. We don't know what the competition is going to be like, but I'm sure there's going to be some guys that might not have been as quick on gravel that will be very quick on tarmac. But we done a test, the Citroen felt really good, so we just have to see what happens, um, but I'm looking forward to it. After a memorable ceremonial start in front of the Cologne Cathedral, the rally starts with two new stages, which were left particularly dirty and slippery after the four-wheel drive cars had completed their runs. Sebastian Chardonnay proves to be the most comfortable on the German roads, claiming the first stage win in the category. He was second on stage two behind Simone Campadelli. Chardonnay ends the first day on top of the provisional classification. It's still very close for now as Christian Riedemann, Quentin Gilbert and Simone Campadelli are less than 10 seconds off the lead. Keith Cronin ends day one in fifth after picking up a puncture. The second leg features six time stages contested in the heart of the German vineyards. Simone Campadelli is the first to call it a day as he goes off at the start of Mittelmosel. The Italian is soon joined by Federico Della Casa, trapped on the same stage. At the start of Moselland, Keith Cronin checks in at the control point over nine minutes late after he tried to repair a brake line, whilst Christian Riedemann is forced to retire after a minor impact. Meanwhile, Sebastian Chardonnay consolidates his lead position after winning all three stages in the opening loop, enabling him to extend his lead over his nearest challenger, Quentin Gilbert. But luck proves not to be on Gilbert's side this time, as he is unable to line up for the start of the second loop due to an electrical problem at service. Despite suffering an accident involving a dog on the sixth stage that damaged the radiator of his DS3 R3, Sebastian Chardonnay ends this second day with a lead of two minutes over Keith Cronin. We uh, hit a dog who was uh, on the middle of the, of the street in a very fast corners and uh, it was uh, really impossible to try to control him in or something like this. And uh, yeah, we hit him and uh, we get some damage on the radiators and uh, more uh, on the ventilators also. Uh, so we had some trouble with the engine and get some temperature on the two next stages. So it was uh, quite difficult and uh, we are really happy to be here. Coming from Abu Dhabi, Mohamed al Matawa contests the first tarmac rally of his young career. At the end of a trouble-free leg, he is third in the Citroen Top Driver classification. A great opportunity to now get to know the Emirati driver. I won the selection in Abu Dhabi for the Citroen Academy and Abu Dhabi Racing. So uh, now, thank God for Abu, uh, for Abu Dhabi Racing, I'm here with this opportunity and trying to get as much experience as possible. This is my first ever uh, rally in tarmac, but I haven't. I've, I've done five years in circuit before, so I have a bit of experience in tarmac. But this is not like uh, circuit racing, so it's a bit different. And so far, it's good. We've been going good, uh, going steady. So really happy with it so far. Held on the roads of the Rhineland, the third day features six time stages, including the legendary Arena Panzerplatt, a 41-kilometer test on the slippery and treacherous tarmac roads at the Baumholder military base. Starting the day with the fastest time in the first stage, Keith Cronin reduces little by little the gap over Chardonnay. 
but the Irishman loses one minute while being stuck in a ditch on the Peterberg stage. We, but it hasn't been an, an easy rally for us. Um, right from the first stage we've had problems, uh, break problems early on and then we um, damaged uh, the wheel. Um, and we dropped, just dropped loads of time. Then we burst the brake pipe and we got penalties. And it's just been horrendous, really. But look, we're still in second place. Um, hopefully, we can just get through tomorrow now and, and get second place points. Maintaining his pace all day long with three fastest times, Sebastian Chardonnay makes it back to the service park with a comfortable lead over Keith Cronin and Mohamed Almatawa. After rejoining under rally two rules, Christian Riedemann rebuilds his confidence and ends the day in fourth position. For Sebastian Chardonnay, the final leg is not about pushing hard. The French driver takes no risks in the two Drontal stage runs, so it's therefore no surprise that he goes on to claim the win. That was the target this weekend. Uh, we did, I think, a very good job all the weekend. The team also made a really good job uh, during the service. And uh, it was not so easy because of the weather condition. Uh, sometimes rain, sometimes not. Uh, even this morning was quite difficult. But uh, everything went OK. And uh, when it's like this, it's a really big pleasure. Further back in second, Keith Cronin admits he's fortunate to finish as the runner up. You know, it, it, you know there was no good day for me in this rally. But as I said, I, I, the positive I can take from all of this is that we, we got a good result at the end. Fastest in the two final stages, Christian Riedemann finishes his home event on the podium after passing Mohamed Almatawa. Yes, I'm uh, very happy. After the disaster on the second day, uh, we, after the little crash, so we are back on the road and we did some good stage time this weekend, I think, and we scored some important points for the championship. So I'm, I'm really happy, yes. We are now at the end of ADAC Rally Deutschland. Let's take a look at the standings. Thanks to this win, Sebastian Chardonnay takes the lead with a four-point margin over Keith Cronin. The title may be decided between these two drivers. In the team's championship, top teams continues to head the standings with a five-point lead over Charles Hurst's Citroën Belfast. The next round will be Rally de France at the beginning of October. See you there.